that. was who made this list? Is this just going viral? Is it like on Reddit or something? Women okay, weighed okay. in. Okay, so women weighed in. Okay, so includes you know Cheesecake Factor, all those. Any fast food chain? Okay, also, Buffalo Wild Wings. A big no. That's a good time if there's a good game on. Other places mentioned include movies, the gym. A bar for drinks, coffee or ice cream dates and sporting events. Pretty much <laughs> these women listed everything there is to do. Clubs and hookah lounges also made the list. It got many men up in arms, including ESPN analyst Stephen A. Smith. Uh-oh. First of all, what the hell is wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? Ain't nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Not only is there nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, the Cheesecake Factory ain't that damn cheap. By the way, I hear they have great salmon, too. I hear they have great salmon as well. So there's this guy that created a list of things that men need to do on a first date with a woman. Huh? And I want to talk about it. We're going to have a dialogue and I want you to comment. We're going to go through this list piece by piece and we're going to dissect it because I believe that there are some things on that list that I do not agree with. But then there's some things on that list that I do agree with. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video don't forget hit that like button subscribe to the channel tickle that notification bell you know what we're gonna do yep roll that clip so this video is a little bit different instead of playing a clip we're gonna go right into the meat of the video so when we look at what women want us to do the reason why I have this comic up is because this comic is very true. The same women that people want us to be nice to are the same women that reject us and continue to reject us. So basically what you're saying is be nice to the modern woman. So let's look at this comic this comic very familiar it's been going around on social media so it starts out with don't mind him baby he's just a lame nerd <laughs> Thank you. then it goes on to say why do super fine women always choose thugs then he grows up and the woman is like baby boo remember me and then the woman i mean and then the man is like beat it i'm just a lame nerd don't you remember and then the woman says why can't i find a very good man Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> but yet these are the women that you want us to hold doors open for and do all of this nice stuff for. These are the women. These are the modern women, correct? That you want us to open the door and walk on the left side of the street and hold the car door open for. Now, don't get me wrong. A man should be a gentleman to a beautiful woman that he decides to take out on a date. However, you don't want to do this with a woman you just met. Let me be very clear on that. <laughs> so he says, can I get your number? The modern woman says, lame ass, N-word. She goes to the street, N-word. He says, I'm a street, N-word on Pyro. The woman says, oh, daddy. <laughs> the, woman, the woman says, I'm pregnant. The street dude says, 
where to hose that on pyro. Then the black woman says, mentor my kids. The guy says, DF, go ask their pops. And then this is where the woman says, black man, I beg you, please be a mentor. These kids out here are hurting. They need you. No. Again, aren't these the women that you want us to be nice to, be chivalrous to, be chivalrous to, open the door for now? This is what the meat of the show is. So this man is going viral for sharing a list of what's really important on a first day. He says, I took a few minutes to make a list of what's really important on the first day if you really want to impress her. Number one, be there early so you don't leave her waiting. I agree with that. You always want to be there early. My dad was in the military and he always told me, if you're on time, you're late. And if you're early, you're on time. Number two, grab her some flowers and a small cord, letting her know you appreciate her time. I disagree. Why are you the prize being appreciative for her time? She should be appreciative of your time because your time as the man is valuable. See, women don't like it and women and people in general don't like it when somebody is so thankful. Like, haven't you ever been around somebody that's just like, oh, thank you for your time. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. And you really haven't done anything. You haven't done anything to earn that thanks. This person is just constantly showering you with thanks and you haven't done anything. All you did was show up to a day. All you did was take their number. All you did was respond to an inquiry and they are thanking you for what? It makes you look desperate, weak, and it makes you look like a child. You don't need to thank a woman for her time. Imagine you're on a date. You're sitting across from the woman and you start off saying, I just want to thank you for your time today, for taking time out of your busy schedule to have this date with me. And I hope that we have a great time tonight. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give you a five question survey that'll let you know and let me know how I did on the day. Like you're, you're, you're doing too much too soon. You don't need to thank a woman for going on a date. You don't need to thank a woman for going on a date with them. Number three, open doors for her. No. Number four, compliment her. Absolutely not. That turns into number Two, why are you giving her a compliment? You've probably already given her a compliment. If this is the first day and you vetted her properly. Number five, settle her in with a hug. I agree with that. You want to break that touch barrier. Also, what type of hug does she give you? See, it's important to realize, guys, when you're dealing with women, the hug matters. Is she hugging you from the side, the front? Is she allowing you to grab her waist and hug her from behind? Side friendship hug, and this is a date? Then she's really not into you. And you need to get separate checks. Smell good and she'll be thinking about you even when she gets home. I agree with that. If you follow this channel, I am very big on cologne. Axe body spray, absolutely not. Number seven, be attentive. Absolutely. You always want to be attentive. But you want to make sure that woman is attentive as well. 
You don't want a woman that's on her phone not being attended to. If you're on a date, not only should you be attended to, but this woman should be attended to as well. It goes both ways. Number eight goes without saying, lead the date. You should have been leading from the get-go. This shouldn't apply. Because as a man, you lead the day anyway. You set up the day. The woman came to a date that you set up. So number eight doesn't even need to be said. Number nine, make sure to smile and keep eye contact. Again, you're already doing this anyway. That goes without saying because if you know about talking to people, and you understand how to effectively communicate, which again, if you focus on your EQ, you won't need to worry about eight or nine. Number 10, make her laugh because a sense of humor is everything. It depends on the woman. What this guy is trying to do is give a cookie cutter response to every single day and it's not working because there's some things that you can do there's some things that you shouldn't do there's some things that you won't do always walk on the outside of the street if you're going to dinner and this woman is driving herself or ubering there's no need for 11 at all anyway Last but not least, let her know that you had a great time when wrapping up the day. That's a hit or miss. I would say if the date's going great, you're already going to say that anyway. That's going to come naturally if you had a great time on the day anyway. And then 21 Absolutely not. That makes you look like a saint. Because 21 says if she lets you drop her off, walk her to her door, and text her once you get back in your car to make sure she's safe. This is why incels and losers don't need to date. Because you've already seen this woman on the date. You already walked her to the car. You drove her back home. Why are you now going to text her and say, hope you got home? Hope you got home safe. You already know she got home safe. You were the one who brought her home. Let's say she took an Uber or she drove herself. In that situation, then yes, you would say, hey, give me a courtesy text. Let me know you get home safe. She sends you that text. If you have an iPhone, you do the thumbs up to react to it and call it a night. Or you don't do anything at all. That's how to handle that situation. So what do you think, guys? Would you add? Would you subtract? Let me know what you think about this list. That's it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me on the screen right after this. And until the next video, peace.